<laughs> hey, look, my partner murdered me. Free, free the nigga murdered me. He locked up right now. You know what I'm saying? Nigga just had to do like a couple months. Mm-hmm. You know, get back out, run this shit back free up. Homie, free homie. He was the nigga like, he rocked out the clique. Everybody knew him. He was hard. He was the first nigga from my city to even do the rap shit. Mm-hmm. I went to him like, boy, I want to fuck with you. I want to rap. I want to be in the clique. He was like, all right, I'm going to check you out. He was always busy though. Mm-hmm. The nigga would get money. Always at a party, studio. He just stayed on the move. He always said he going to check me out. But he, he wanted to, but he just was on the move. move. Yeah, yeah. So me, I said, I wasn't going to let up. See, this nigga murder me and check me out. Went to the nigga high one day. I went taking no for ounce. Me and my partner, Daddy, let my engineer, my best friend. Mm-hmm. We had a fucking speaker, the, 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 the old motherfucker, the tape player with the CD player. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, we put the tape. No matter of fact, it was just the tape. It was no CD. We didn't even know that motherfucker yet. We got the tape, motherfucker. We played a beat we got with somebody. I freestyled some shit we had been writing out for about a couple weeks. We were citing that shit back then. We made sure we knew it word for word and wrapped that shit soon we opened the door. He said we were hard for the beats with young nigga. And them niggas started fucking with us. Like every time they went in the yo, they made sure we was in that bitch with them. We the younger niggas in there with the bad girls in the city, the older girl. We 12, 13, 14 years old. It girl 20 years old, 22 years old in the studio with us. Yeah. I'm kicking that shit. We rapping. We they putting us on song. We, we know we starting to got down, pick up on the shit they doing. So how y'all in now? 12, 13, but how y'all in now? We 13, 14 now, 15. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? We getting, we getting up though. You know what I'm saying? So shit, now people know we were out of school. We middle school, going to high school. Now people like, oh, them boy rap, them boy been rapping. Like, them boy hard. So shit, we never stopped. We was like, print up CD, go to Walmart, get 200 blank CD. Shit, burn that shit after we make the song. Write that shit on though. Sell them up. Black market motherfucker. Black market, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Black market. Yeah, yeah. And nigga don't know, like, but we made some money. Yeah, we yeah. sell them bitches $5, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sick the city. So, you know, you get the sick city back in the day, but you that nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you from a small town, and you can get everybody to buy one and play that shit, you popping, boy. Like, I'm talking about, I done got down, put that shit out there as a young nigga. I wake up outside, hit the hood. Boy, folk riding through that bitch, throwing up the west side, playing my shit. How that shit feel? Boy, that shit felt like you signed a deal. <laughs> you ain't lying, boy. That was the record deal back hey, then. That it, listen, I'm going to tell you something. For those who, who, who haven't, for artists who haven't got that big song yet, listen to her, man. Stay ambitious. Stay grinding. Stay pushing. If you see somebody you want to get in the front on, keep pushing. Keep believing that shit. Even if they turn you down, to keep pushing. Because it might be something for you. Even if he turn you down, it might be something after that. That shit might inspire you to do something else. You see can't what I'm saying? Up. You can't give up. You can't, you can't give up. You, you got to be ambitious. You got to take your motherfucking chance. Because I'm going to tell y'all what. And for all you niggas who do got music, when you got that first song and the whole hood fucking with it and you come outside and the nigga riding around being that shit and every car riding around being that shit, bro, that ain't feeling like that shit, bro. What? I don't give a fuck. What a nigga say? I don't give a fuck how big you done made it. Ain't shit like your hood fucking with your shit, Hell bro. No. Everybody fucking with that and shit, the OG, and, and once the OG let you know what it is, like especially big dogs in the hood, but that that feeling where cause like now I got I got everybody I know fucking with me. Now I'm the nigga. But after you after that story, like, you gotta keep this shit up now. See, once you make that name, now you gotta you gotta always have that shit going. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta be able to hit the club, pop you some bottles. Mm-hmm. You gotta be able to get, keep you some clothes on. You know what I'm saying? Keep your hair cut. So I just always wanted to do that shit. I was like, damn, I wanna be a rapper for real. Once I seen folk playing my shit and fucking with me. I always wanted to just get more money. You know what I'm saying? But like as a young nigga, like you'll get your money, but you'll fuck it up. Yeah. Because you still trying to be a kid too. Yeah, yeah. You like, man, I wanna have fun. Fuck that. I spend all So you my still money. going to school at this time? I dropped out of school in ninth grade. Yeah. But like shit, because I want some money. My mama couldn't buy no clothes. My best friend would give me his old clothes. They was all they were fucked up. So like shit, I was like, man, you know what? Fuck the school shit. 